Hey guys, all right, today I have a jump board workout for you, okay? So 40 minutes on the reformer, all jumping, all right? And we're gonna use, the only prop we're gonna use today is our Pilates ring or our magic circle. All right, so if you don't have one, that's fine. You can do this whole workout without it. Okay, so it's not necessary, but it'd be really nice to have, so if you have it, grab it. That jump board is already on my reformer. We're gonna start with it right away. Okay, so have that up and ready to go. Your carriage. I've got my balanced body reformer is set on one blue spring, that's one light spring. If you have a balanced body reformer, go for that. Okay, if you're on any other brand of reformer, you can use one spring that'll probably be just fine, or you just wanna go with a light spring on your brand of reformer, all right? So, 40 minutes, you and me, we're gonna get that heart rate up, we're gonna challenge the core on that light spring today, so it's all about the core today, and let's hit it. All right, so you're gonna come all the way down on your back with that ring. Okay, if you don't have the ring, you don't need it at all right now, your arms are gonna come either long and low by your sides, or straight up over the chest. All right, with that ring, you're gonna bring it between both palms, that ring is gonna come up above the chest, okay? My fingertips are at underarm height. From here, we're gonna lengthen both legs all the way out nice and long, so the back of your knees are open. Okay, feet are nice and flat. From here, I want you to make sure before we start moving, tailbone is heavy, okay? That's a new, you have a neutral spine, so we have a little lift in the low back, it's very small. My ribs are sealed and closed. My belly button is active and pulled up and in between my shoulder blades. My shoulders are relaxed. All right, from here, we're gonna start with straight leg jumps in this parallel position. So no bend to the knee. We're gonna roll onto the ball of the foot, and then we're gonna roll back down to the heel. Roll onto the ball of the foot. Roll onto the heel. So we're articulating through that foot bed. Okay, now we're gonna add that little hop. So we're gonna roll and give a little flick and roll it back down. Good, it's quick. Okay, but we are on one light spring, one blue spring. All right, so we have a little bit of hang time. I want you to think about your breath here. So this is a really good time before we start getting into more complicated moves to start to sink our breath to our movement. So your inhale breath is gonna take you out. Your exhale is gonna land you. Okay, I want you to think about elongating the body with your inhale breath. Okay, so it's not about shoving through the foot. All right, on your jump sequences, I want you to think about your breath taking you out, almost inflating you like a hot air balloon. And exhale as you land. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, so it's a little roll through the foot. I'm rolling off the heel onto the ball of the foot to give a little flick through the toes. And then I land through the toes, ball of the foot, and all the way down to the heel. Now, one thing I'm really gonna emphasize the entire time we jump, you should feel your low belly right now. One thing I'm gonna emphasize is always getting that heel to touch down on that jump board. Okay, you wanna make a solid full foot connection every time you land. Good, so I want you to find that before you leave again. We're not just landing on the toes. You're here for six. Good, last five, we're imprinting into that ring so we feel our mid back. Last four, good, you've got three. Last two. Now we're gonna let those knees bend. So on the next one, those knees are gonna soften. Inhale, take it out for a little bigger hop. So we're still in that parallel position with those legs. They're about four inches apart, they're separated. Okay, I'm still imprinting into that ring from the mid back. So I can feel my right and left waistline light up. My core is nice and tight, so that inhale breath still takes me out. My exhale lands me. Good, full foot connection every time we land. So the way you're gonna manage that as we jump, just is a little bit, I wanna walk you through kind of my, uh, my sticking points um, as you jump before we get into more complicated moves. So, the way you're gonna manage that heel, always making a connection, is by managing your knee bend. Okay, if that knee bend is really deep, it's gonna challenge the flexibility through the back line of your ankle, and already see my heels are starting to peel. So you wanna keep that bend manageable so the full foot can make a connection. The more you challenge that flexibility, the range of motion will increase. Okay, so I really want you to think about that as you jump, still imprinting in that ring. We're here for six. Good, we're gonna get more complicated in five. Good, last four. Good, three. Last two. Good, really opening up the back of the 
the knee, straightening those legs. Now on your next one, you're going to pause for just a moment. We're going to take our right leg and we're going to pretend that we're sitting cross-legged in a chair. Okay, so I've got my right leg crossed over my left, but it's hovering. Okay, it's not actually on the leg. I'm hovering it in that crossed position. Toes are pointed. From here, we're going to jump on that left leg and we're going to swing and switch. Swing and switch. So, call these burlesque jumps. You're opening up the hips, okay? But we're keeping both hip bones connected to the carriage. We're keeping those hips stable. We're not letting the pelvis rock and roll back and forth. So that's your challenge here, is to keep, I want to set my ring down for a minute, to keep the pelvis quiet as you swivel those femur bones, those legs, through the hip socket. Okay, so big choreography here. All right, I really want you to manage that pelvis. That core is responsible for keeping that pelvis quiet. So we want to keep that core engaged. Keep those ribs closed. Pull that belly button up and in. Activate on that ring. Good, you guys, these are lots of fun too. So have fun with them. Each time you land, we're gonna be here a minute because I want you to really get this and feel this in your body. Each time you land, full foot makes a connection with that jump board. Good, you're going cross legged one way and then we switch and take it the other way. Good, and you can make that fan a little bit bigger every time as you get more comfortable. Good, keeping that pelvis nice and quiet. Inhale, switch. Good. Inhale, breath taking you out. It's not about shoving or pressing through the foot. It's about inflating like a balloon. Your carriage should not be hitting the back of your reformer. Good. We're here for six. Good. Last five. We're going to switch into first position. In three, four. All <laughs> right, I forgot four. Three. Good, last two. All right, on your next one, we're gonna take pause for a moment. Take your heels together, toes turned out. We're gonna lengthen those legs all the way up. Reconnect, engage on that ring. From here, in that first position, we're gonna exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, take it out for a little hop. So now we're zipping up those inner thighs every time we leave the jump board. Good. That body's starting to get warm, right? Real warm. Good. Zipping up those inner thighs. So we land. Full foot touches down, including the heel. My heels are glued together. I want you to think about super glue. They're not allowed to separate. When you land, they're together. When you're in the air, they're together. Good. We're zipping up those inner thighs all the way up through the midline like a zipper. So you can think about those inner thighs pulling up along the spine like suspenders. Good. Keeping your ribs closed every time you leave. Good. Guys, nice. We're almost there. We're going to come into little straddles or little jumping jacks. Good. In eight. Good. Seven. Last six. Good. You've got five. Good. Last four. Good. You've got three. Two. Good. Last one. Now on your next one, keep jumping. We're going to take those legs wide, land back in first position. Wide, land back. Good. Now each time we take it wide, we remain externally rotated. Okay, so in first position, you're externally rotated. That whole leg from the top of the hip is swiveled, so the inner thigh is shining a little bit more towards the ceiling. Good. Recommit to actively pressing into that ring. Good. Keeping that pelvis quiet, keeping those ribs tight. You got it. Good. This is the last in the sequence. We're going to come onto our side in eight. Good. Last seven. Six. Good. Last five. Good. Four. Press into that ring. Three. Last two. Good. And last one and bring it all the way in. All right, coming on to our right side, staying on that one blue spring. We're not gonna be switching our springs at all. 
Okay, you're gonna come onto your right forearm. Left palm is gonna take that ring. Okay, and we're gonna press on one squishy pad, the other squishy pad's on the carriage. My right elbow is underneath my right shoulder. I'm gonna lay that hand nice and flat. My right knee is bent, okay? My pelvis is stacked. Left hip bone right over the right. Race, waistline is nice and long on the right side and we're gonna maintain length on the left. My left foot is nice and flat, okay? From here, staying lifted out of that right shoulder, we're gonna keep that left leg in parallel. We're gonna bend and give it a little hop. Bend and hop. Good, so keeping that leg in parallel so those toes are shining straight forward. We're still managing a full foot connection. We land all the way through the heel. So ball of the foot touches down first and then we articulate through the foot to get that center heel connected to the jump board. Good, that's before we leave for that next jump. Your inhale breath still takes you out. Your exhale lands you. And I want you to think every time you inhale, that diaphragm in the body drops. Okay, so we create internal length within the body. I want you to think about that. That analogy of inflating like a balloon will make a little bit more sense when you think about that in the body. So the length is created right here. And then we land. It's lengthening. And we're back. Good. All right, we're going to add a little lift and lower with that top leg. So that left leg, as you take it out, it's going to go two inches up and lower to land. Two inches up, lower to land. Good, so it's a little lift right from the top of the hip. You'll feel that side of the glute kick in. Good, we're still keeping the pelvis stacked. Okay, so we're not rolling back onto our right sits bone. Okay, we're keeping, we're staying right on the pinnacle of that right hip. Good, you feel the top of that glute lighting up already. Good, you guys, good. Keep pressing into that ring. All right, we're going to draw some circles, but we're here for four. Good, last three. Two. Last one. Next thing is going to be a little circle. We're going to draw a little circle and land. Little golf ball size circle, making it really small. It may not feel like a circle in your body, but what I want you to focus on is not too much about what shape you're drawing, okay, but getting mobility from the femur bone in the hip. A little mobility from the top of the hip. Yes, right there. So the whole leg draws a circle. It's not just my big toe or my ankle. It's my whole leg. Good, you should feel this movement all the way up in the glute. Good, staying lifted off that right shoulder. Good, four more in this direction. Woo, last three. Good, we've got two. Last one, let's take that circle the other way. Okay, so switch your direction that you're drawing that circle. Good, finding mobility at the top of the hip. It doesn't matter if you're drawing a triangle, that's fine. If you're making a little line in the air, I don't care. I just want you to find movement all the way from the top of the hip. Swivel that femur bone around in that hip socket for four. Whew, last three. Yes, you guys, I can feel my glute. Last two. All right, on your next one, no more circle. It's going to be a little knee pull and land. Knee pull and land. So this one's a little quicker. Okay, I want you to worry about getting the legs straight before you land on the jump board. Good, getting that full foot to touch down every time. Good, don't think so much about a push. Think about that breath. Recommit to that inhale breath. Good. All right, we're here for six. Press into that ring. Last five. Keep that knee lifted. Good. Three. Woo, my glute. Last two. And let's go one more. And bring it all the way in. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's come on to a four, we're coming into a four point meal. All right, so we're gonna come all the way on our hands and knees. Now we're gonna continue with that left leg. So my right palm is gonna take the ring. Okay, so I've got one squishy pad down on the carriage, right palm is on the other squishy pad. My left hand is gonna come down to the carriage and we want that wrist under the shoulder. My right knee is gonna stay under my hip. My left foot's gonna come against the jump board. 
Okay, now from here we're going to lengthen all the way out. Okay, now this is a stability challenge for sure. Okay, so I'm probably not even going to look at you guys while we do this one. Just for stability and balance, I want you to press into the ring. Okay, and we're going to go nice and slow. We're going to start with just a little foot roll. So we're going to bend the knee. We're going to extend through the toes. Roll the heel back down and bend the knee. So we're not jumping yet. Okay, I want you to keep your hips level. So think about that left hip bone shining towards the carriage. Okay, we don't want to dump all of our weight into that right knee. We want to pull that belly button up and in. Okay, now we're going to start to jump. It's going to be really small. So we're going to inhale, we're going to hop. And we're going to land. Inhale, hop. Exhale, land. Remember that internal lengthening. The diaphragm drops on our inhale, and then we land. Think about that inflating like a balloon. Nice and graceful, nice and smooth. It's not a shove through the foot. If you are shoving through the foot right now, you're going to fall. Okay, because there's not a lot of contact on that carriage. You basically got two points of contact. That left hand and that right shin. Okay, that right hand is very unstable on that ring. Okay, so you should feel your waistline light up in this move, no question. I'm focusing pretty intently not to fall for you guys. Good knee bends. Keep the heel down as that knee bends. Don't let that heel peel off the jump board. All right, we're here for eight, seven, six, good, five, four, Woo. Three. Good. Last two. And let's go one more. And bring it all the way in. Alright, we're coming back onto our back so we can get over to that other side. Alright. <laughs> Lots of control and concentration. Alright, that ring, let's come all the way down on our back. Okay, shoulders up against the shoulder block. Ring is going to come around our shins. Okay, feet are going to be nice and flat on the jump board. All right, and we're going to come into an ab curl, but first we're going to lengthen all the way out. Okay, so we're going to get those feet nice and flat on the jump board, back of the legs open. All right, from here, we're going to take the hands behind the head. So I'm going to scooch away from my shoulder blocks a little bit. Okay, the hands are going to come behind the head, and we're going to find that tractioning lift. Okay, so my chin is away from my chest, my core is long on the front body, and I've got the tips of my shoulder blades lifted off the carriage. From here, we're going to bend both knees. Inhale, take it out. Whew. All right. Now, we're activating, okay, those adductors because we're really imprinting outbound on that ring. Good. You should feel the core already shaking as you leave that jump board. That inhale breath still takes you out, keeping the ribs closed. Good. Now, if the hands behind the head is not working for you today, you can always bring your arms up and kind of reach this way. Okay, both are very acceptable. I just want you to make sure that you've got support for the neck. Okay, so we're not yanking on the neck, we're cradling it. All right, here we go. We're going to add a little lift and lower of those legs. So on your next one, we're going to lift two inches and lower to land. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift, lower. Good, so right here, I'm closing the front of my hips just a little bit, just a little bit, lifting with those suspender muscles. That psoas, drawing that little tighter, pulling those suspenders up to get those legs to lift. Yes, good you guys, you got this. Whew, holding that ab curl, if that ab curl isn't for you today, you can always just lay down on the carriage, okay? You don't need to hold the ab curl. Good, we're here for six. Whew. Last five. Good, you guys, four. Last three. Whew. Last two. We're gonna come right into knee pulls on your next one. The knees pull in, lengthen and land. In, lengthen and land. Good, so we're trying to get the back of the leg all the way open before we land on that jump board. Good, you guys. Keep pulling that belly button up and in. Exhale. 
Excellent, good. Hang on. We're here for six. Woo. Last five. You've got four. Good, last three. The knees stop directly over the hip. Good, last two. Woo. Last one. Good, we're gonna pause for just a moment. Bring your ab curl down, bring your arms long and low. Okay, we're gonna connect to that jump board, nice flat feet. From here, we're gonna come into bus driver. So we're gonna bend both knees, okay, as we take it out. We're gonna turn it to the left and center to land. To the right, center to land. So you're thinking about that ring now, like a steering wheel. Okay, we're turning to the left, and then we bring it back to center to land. Turn it to the right, and bring it to center to land. Good, all right, so the challenge here, keep those hips quiet, keep the pelvis neutral. Okay, the femur bones, make that little swivel in that hip socket to get the wheel to turn. Good, focus on that movement right here. Excellent, guys, good, keeping the ribs closed. Whew. Good, if you wanna bring that ab curl back at any time, you can. Okay, can reach those arms. Good, or you can have the hands behind your head. Getting that full foot connection every time. Woo! Good, you guys. I find with my shoulder blocks on this reformer, I like my hands not being behind my head. But whatever works for you. Good, you're here for six. Good, last five. Good, we got four. Woo, last three. Good, we got two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. Now don't go anywhere. Let's take the ring off the shins. Okay, now that ring is gonna come around my left foot. So the ball of my left foot is up against one squishy pad. Okay, and my right hand is gonna hold the other. My left arm is gonna be long and low on the carriage. My right foot is on the jump board. Okay, let's lengthen that right leg all the way out. From here, we're gonna maintain this hold of my right arm and my left foot up high. Okay, and we're gonna exhale as we bend the right knee. Inhale, take it out for a little hop. Okay, so we're still working with that neutral spine. Now we're getting a nice little stretch on that hamstring. Okay, on that left leg as we hold that leg in position. Okay, we are going to be adding choreography here, but I want you just to stay right here to start. Good, inhale out, exhale as you land. Good, so on these lighter springs, on this light spring, we're challenging the core today. If we had heavier springs, we would be loading a little bit more into those global movers through the leg. Okay, but today I really want to challenge that core. Good, hang on to it, you're here for four. We're gonna lift our right leg in three as we leave that jump board, last two. Good, now on your next one, that right leg is gonna come up, tap the ring, lower to land. Lift, lower to land, just a little tap. Good, adding that long leg movement again, a little bit like we did in those burlesque jumps in the beginning. Good, pointing the toe, reaching the leg long. Good, no sloppy limbs right here. We want nice control. Lifting that right leg up. Good, control from the psoas muscle, lower part of the right core, pulling that suspender muscle tight, the leg lifts, and then we lower. We're here for six. Good, last five. Good, you've got four. Managing that knee bend, so you want that heel down every time. Good, last three. Two, good, last one, and bring it to a pause. Now, both feet on the jump board for a second. That left hand is gonna hold the ring against your left thigh. So, we're gonna lengthen the right leg out. Left knee is now in tabletop, so we still only have a single foot on the jump board. Right arm is gonna be long and low, and we're gonna actively press the left palm into the left thigh, so we've got a press there. But we're holding that left knee over the hip. All right, from here, we're gonna bend that right knee, take it out for a little hop. Good, inhale and lengthen. Now, we're actively pressing into that thigh, so we've got resistance to fight against on that left side. It's not easy to hold the left knee 
over the hip. It should be difficult to maintain that alignment. So you should feel your tricep light up. Okay, you should feel that waistline light up. And that left shin is parallel to the floor. We want to hold that position. Good. Nice control here for six. Last five. Good, we're going to swivel this right leg in four, three. Good, last two. Now we're going to take that right leg and we're going to land once in external rotation, toes angled out, and then back to parallel. External, back to parallel. So again, keeping the pelvis quiet, it's a swivel of the femur bone in the hip. My toes are landing straight up, and then they land at an angle, 45 degree angle to the side, towards that top right corner of the jump board. Good, swiveling that leg, inner thigh opens up, toes angle out, and then we come back. I'm still actively pressing into that ring. I'm holding that left knee over the hip. Good, you're here for six. Good, last five. Whew. Good, you've got four. Hang on to it. Good. Last three. Excellent, you've got two more. We're gonna switch legs. All right, last one. Parallel and external. Back to parallel and bring it all the way in. All right, now right foot is gonna take that ring. Left hand is going to hold on to it. Right arm is long and low. We're going to lengthen that left leg all the way out so it's nice and straight. Getting a nice stretch on that right hamstring. We're going to exhale, bend that left knee. Inhale, take it out for a little hop. Good. So that right foot is flexed. We're getting an active stretch all the way from that ankle all the way down the back of the leg. Good. Inhale out. Exhale as you land. Good, full foot connection every time. Good, we're gonna add that choreography of that long leg kick. Okay, we're here for four. Last three. Good, two. Good, on the next one, you're gonna take that leg and we're gonna lift it, tap the ring and lower to land. Good, now this side might feel, one side might feel very different than the other. That's normal. Okay, kind of work with your body. If that leg can't kick as high, you can't tap that ring, that's okay. Okay, find that long length through the back of the leg. Point to toe, I want you to find a nice control here, no sloppy limbs. Okay, so I don't, I don't want you to shove off the jump board to get a lot of distance to get that leg up there, okay? Still want you to think about that inhale breath. Good, exhale to land. Guys, so we've got that diagonal sling, working left shoulder to right inner thigh, finding that little connection. We're here for six. Good, last five. Four. Last three. Good, you've got two. All right, on our next one, we're gonna take that little pause. Now, the right leg is gonna come into tabletop. Right palm is gonna press the ring into that right thigh. We're gonna lengthen that left leg all the way up. Now we're gonna hold the alignment of the right knee over the hip. Exhale, bend that left knee. Inhale, take it out. Good. So keeping that neutral spine, both hip bones still shining straight up to the ceiling. I'm actively pressing into that ring. Press into that thigh. Give yourself something to fight against. We want to actively challenge the core so that that right knee has got some resistance. That right shin is parallel to the floor. All right, we're gonna to start to add that external rotation. Let's go for four, still in parallel. Last three. Good, we've got two. Last one. All right, now we're gonna add externally rotate and land, back to parallel and land. Left leg externally rotates, land, back to parallel, land. Good, so hopefully you can see that in my body. I know that leg now is on the opposite side of the, the camera, so you can't see it as well, but the swivel is coming from the top of the hip, okay? Parallel, my toes shine up. 
External, my toes angle towards that top left corner of the jump board. So find that swivel all the way from the top of the hip. That leg is like a skewer. We want to get all sides. Good. Press into that ring. You're here for eight. Good. Last seven. Good. Six. Good. You've got five. Good. Keeping the ribs closed. Last four. Good. We've got three. Last two. Coming into that four point kneel position for that other leg. Last one. Back to parallel and bring it all the way in. Whew. All right. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. All right. We're getting really close to the end. Hands and knees. That left palm is now going to take that ring. All right. Right hand is going to be flat on the carriage. We're going to press on that one squishy pad, pressing the other one into the carriage. Okay. Left shin's going to stay down. Right foot's going to come to the jump board. And we're going to lengthen all the way out with that right leg. All right. So I want you to find some stability here. Remember, we're very unstable in this position with that left hand off the carriage. So we're going to start with just that foot roll. Keeping the right uh, hip bone shining down. We're going to roll onto the ball of the foot. Roll back down to the heel and bend the knee. Lengthen out through the knee. Roll and bring it back. Good. Now, once you feel stable here and you've got that core connected, because if that core is not engaged right now, you're not going to maintain this position on the carriage. I want you to go nice and slow. My right elbow is soft. My left palm is pressing into that ring. Once you feel stable, I want you to go for that little hop. Good. And then we bring it back. So one side might feel shakier than the other. Okay, we're thinking about tightening that core before we leave the jump board. Good. Keeping both hip bones level. There are no layers here. This is the move. Good. Trying not to shift all of our weight into the left knee. We want our weight nice and centered. Eyes on the carriage. Whew, you should feel that right waistline quite a bit. I feel mine. Whew. All right. Here we are for eight. Last seven. Good. You've got six. Last five. Four. Good. Three. Whew, those side jumps are next. Last two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. All right. I'm not going to be facing you guys now, but you're coming down onto that left forearm. Left forearm down against those shoulder blocks. My right palm has the ring. One squishy pad is against the carriage. My bottom knee, which is my left knee, is bent forward. I'm going to lengthen off of that right leg. Okay, so my hips are stacked. Both hip bones on top of one another. Core, belly buttons pulled up and, up and in nice and tight. Roll those shoulders down and back. Lots of length on both sides of the waistline. Exhale, bend that right knee. Inhale, give it a little hop. Good. Okay, so we're going to light up that core, or the light up that glute. Good. Just straight jumps right here. Good. Heel touches down every time. Here we go. All right. In four, we're going to add that little lift and lower. Actively pressing into that ring for three. Last two. All right. On your next one, we're going to add that little lift and lower to land. It's a two inch lift. Keeping that leg in parallel, we're lifting from the top side of that hip. My toes stay shining forward. I don't externally rotate. My kick is not big. It's a tiny, tiny controlled lift. I don't want anything to change at your pelvis or your waist or your shoulder girdle. All of that stays nice and stable. My heel touches down every time, so I'm managing the depth of my bend through that leg. The deeper I bend my knee, the more I challenge the flexibility through the back of my ankle. Okay, so it's harder the deeper you bend. Okay, so manage that bend in your body. It's different for everyone. 
Good, and it's going to increase over time if you really force yourself to get that heel down. Whew, all right, we're here for four. We're going to go for those little circles in three. Last two. All right, you guys, on the next one, we're going to draw little circles. Little tiny circle from the top of the hip. Whew, make them small. Make them small. But we want the whole leg. Okay, the whole leg is drawing that circle from the top of the hip. It's not just my big toe. It is my whole leg. Good. Good. Sometimes when I talk to you guys through these moves, I'm like, wait a second, what is my body doing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm drawing. Good. Keep that whole leg moving. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look like a circle. You're not being graded on your shape. <laughs> I want you to feel the right feeling in your body. You're here for four. Good. Feel that swivel at the top of the hip for three. Hips are quiet for two. All right, last one in this direction. Let's draw that circle the other way. Good. Landing that foot somewhere around the middle of the jump board. Okay, we don't want that leg to collapse. We want to keep it lifted, keep that ankle the same height as the hip. Woo! Press into that ring. I can feel my glute. I hope you can feel yours. Good. And then sometimes when I start these workouts and I'm sore already, I don't know, I can't feel it, <laughs> you know the same, but I wasn't sore today, so we're here for four. Good, I will be now. Last three. Good, last two. All right, guys, last thing, we're going for that knee pull. Knee pulls in and out to land. Good. Whew, this leg is tired. Okay, guys, so I want you to focus on good form. That knee pulls in front of the hip. We lengthen to land. Good. Inhale takes you out. Exhale, you land. Good. I know that leg is tired. Guys, we're really close to the end of this workout. Good. So hang with me. We're here for six. Whew, last five. Good. You've got four. Last three. You've got two. Last one. And let's go one more for the measure and bring it all the way in my body. It wasn't ready to stop right there. All right, guys, last and final thing. Lie on your back. Lie on your back, okay? That ring is gonna come back up over the chest. All right, but this time, we're gonna glue the triceps to the carriage, okay? Shoulders are against the shoulder blocks. Lengthen those legs all the way out, okay? We're gonna be in a parallel position to start. We're gonna exhale, bend those knees, and give a little jump. Okay, we're just going closed parallel. My legs are touching. The inner line of my leg is touching. There's no leg between my knees and ankles. All right. As we lengthen out, we zip up that core. All right. We're going to start to land wide, and then we're going to land back in this closed parallel. So in your next one, you're going to land wide, the width of the jump board. You're going to come back and land closed parallel. You're going to go wide, and you're going to land closed parallel. And we are pressing into that ring. Press, press, press. Good. Lighting up the mid-back. Shoulders are relaxed. Okay, we're not hiking the shoulders. Good. We're here for 10. Last nine. Good. We've got eight. We're going to go into a jumping jack to finish it all. Good. Last seven. Good. You've got six. Last five. Press into that ring. Good. You got four. Once wide and once narrow. Last three. Good. You've got two. Don't let go of that imprinting on the ring. Keep it there. Nice and strong. Last one. Our next one's going to be wide and in the air, so we're not going to land wide. We're going to jump wide and close to land. Jump wide. Close to end, so it's an air jumping jack. Okay, you're not landing wide, you're landing narrow every time in that closed parallel position. Yes. Okay, ending with that cardio a little bit higher. Whew. Excellent. Keep that belly button pulled up and in. Keep those ribs closed. Press into that ring. This is it. This is your final sequence right here. You're here for 10. Good. Last nine. Remember, we're not shoving through the leg. 
We're tightening that core. We're inflating like a balloon. Last eight. Seven. Good. You've got six. Heels touch down. Five. Four. Good. Last three. Two. Last one. And bring it all the way in, guys. Ooh, release the ring. Those arms should got a little workout too. All right, we're going to stretch with that ring. So bring that ring around the balls of both feet. Okay, we're going to take those legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Now, if you don't have the ring right now, you can uh, grab your straps, okay? Now, if you're going to put your straps around your feet, go ahead and add weight onto the carriage, okay? So it's a little bit heavier and you have some resistance. Okay, we're going to actively pull on that ring and we're going to let that tailbone float up off the carriage. I'm keeping my feet in a flexed position so I get a nice stretch all the way up the back line of that leg. Good, and we're holding it here and we're exhaling. Every exhale is going to allow my body to release the tension. Good, last four. Good, you've got three. Good, last two. Good, on your next one, bring it all the way back, tailbone down. All right, now my left leg is gonna lengthen out against the jump board. My right foot is still inside the ring. Okay, I'm gonna take that right leg now, I'm gonna allow it to go into external rotation as I take that right leg out to the side and open up that inner thigh. My left hip is not invited to roll off the carriage, all right? It's staying down, my pelvis is quiet, and I swivel that leg so now my inner thigh shines up. Toes reaching for my ear. I'm pulling on that ring. We're here for four. Last three. Good, last two. Good, take that leg all the way back up over the hip. My left palm is now gonna grab that ring. Right arm is gonna be long and low. And now we're gonna take that leg across the midline. All right, so now you're gonna feel that IT band all the way up the outer line of that right leg. It does not feel good in my body, and a lot of times that's tight. If you run or cycle, that can be really tight. So just take that nice and slow, and I really want you to think about that exhale. Keep the foot flexed. Your exhale breath is going to release the grip, release the tension, close your eyes, let it go. You're here for four. Good. Last three. Last two. Good. Bring that all the way back to center. Let's switch legs. Right foot comes to the jump board, left ball of the foot comes into the ring. We're going to grab onto that ring with the left hand, right arm is long and low, and we're going to allow that left leg to go into external rotation. Inner thigh shines up to the ceiling. We're drawing that ring towards our ear, or those toes towards our left ear. Inner thigh shines up, big stretch there. Right hip bone is glued down. Hold it there, release with every exhale. For four. Good, last three. Last two. Good, drawing it all the way back up over the hips, switching your hands. Left hand comes to the carriage. Right arm now has the ring. We're gonna slowly take that leg across the middle of the body. Ooh, that IT band lit up for me right away. Keep that foot flexed. It doesn't always feel good, guys, but let's really stretch it out right here. Holding it here. Every exhale, let that body release. Good, you're here for four. Last three. Good, that hip is a little bit off the carriage. That's okay, that left hip. Last two. Good, bring it all the way back to center. Set that ring down on the side. Let the carriage come all the way in. Hug your knees into your chest. Guys, take a nice big breath. Exhale all that air out. Guys, and you did it. Full jump board workout that was a little bit more like 40 minutes. Okay, that was much like a half an hour. But nice job, you guys. Hopefully you felt that heart rate jump up a little bit. I'm sure you felt your core today. We were on really light springs. So nice job, well done. If you have any comments for me, please leave them below the video. I'm always happy to answer any questions and I love your feedback. You can find me on social media, us also as Jess P. Fit. And I look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you next time.